Hi, I'm April Golightly, and today I'm so excited to share with you this amazing mini tote from Tori Birch. It's called the Mini Bio Ella. Let's get started. Here she is. This is the Mini Bio Ella. The Ella bag from Tori Birch has been around since 2008. This is the first time that it's actually in this bio material. It's really cool and I have it in the small tote. You can check out that video here, but I also have it in the mini tote. I actually got this little purse for my daughter so we could match. Kind of a mommy and me uh, extravagant moment together she I got her it for her when she was nine and she's now 10 it comes with this top handle and then also it comes with a crossbody adjustable strap which is really cool so the top handles have a 2.9 inch drop and then the adjustable removable crossbody strap is 22.8 inches or 58 centimeters. Let's measure that actually. I'm kind of interested to see. So this is the strap right here. This one has silver on it. It has these little clasps here. Let me see if I can. So that's the clasp. It's kind of a matte finish silver. Really pretty matte finish. And it also has this part and this part of it so that when you adjust it, you could actually, the strap can be held down. I used to have a Gucci bag, or I still have a Gucci bag, that doesn't have this like, like little extra here, and it's very annoying because it like flips up. So I'm glad that it has that like extra part here. Okay, let's measure it out. Um, I've got my measuring tape. Okay, I'm going to adjust it to the shortest. This is the, the tightest it can be and see how it kind of overlaps onto. So the strap's shortest is 43 inches, 43 inches. Okay, and then let's see what it is at the longest. So now I've adjusted it so that it's at its longest length, like the, the, the furthest hole. And so let's see, the strap is now 49 and three, or 48 and three quarters long. So also, I just wanted to show you, if you're very tall, you could also probably add some more holes here or have your uh, shoe repair person or your cobbler person add them. So we've got a little bit of space here where you could make it a little bit shorter or I mean longer. So for example, I wanted to show you, if I have a picture, I will show you here what it looks like on my daughter um, and with her height her being 10 years old you can see where it hits on her so that way if you're a very petite person you could wear and see where it fits as a crossbody here so hopefully you're still looking at the footage of my daughter wearing it at this moment fingers crossed she'll cooperate with me for this video so as you can see here i'm wearing it like right in the middle and i'm only 5'3 but i'm curvy so because of my bust area i like to have the body or the purse cross body um, not too high and not too low. Lately, I've been noticing because of the Fendi baguette that people are wearing their cross bodies a little bit higher. So with this bag, even if you're curvy, um, you could adjust it so that it's a little bit smaller and you could wear it like tidier to your body or you could wear it longer. Like w if you're tall or short, I really like that the fact that it's kind of versatile for different heights. And I feel like a lot of bags or sometimes crossbody bags are not adjustable or let's talk about the details of this amazing little bag. So this double T logo from Tori Birch is there and it's in you know sewn on the other bag the the small bag actually has this as a pocket but for this one it's just sewn on really nicely also the handles stay straight up really well and they're sewn on with a little detail from Tori Birch that has that little T detail really cute and then on the sides here we have these little snaps so you can snap the bag closed on the sides like that which is really cute so to kind of keep it everything in it a little bit more secure also there's a little magnetic closure right here and you can see how strong that magnet is and that makes it so that it's like a tote bag but you can also kind of get a little bit of a so that it doesn't like fly open 
I feel like maybe after a while this would kind of get a little bit looser but right now and we've been using it for about almost a year now and you know it's not too bad but we're not like overstuffing it so on the interior we have this herringbone pattern material also I wanted to show you these little D rings that are on opposite sides and that's where you put the cross body straps. The outer shell is made of Biofabica, 64% USD certified bio-based content. The Ella Bio is de developed in partnership with Modern Meadow. So it's kind of like a vegan leather material. It's very sturdy. It's much nicer than most vegan leather leathers that I've come across. So it's very matte finish. I've had it for about a year now, so I can't say that it's definitely going to last forever, but at this point it's been about a year and I've been able to keep it clean and use it pretty often so that it's not getting like beaten. I'm like, I don't beat my purses to death, but my daughter has been using it a lot and it still looks fantastic. Like it did have some scuffs on it and I was e able to just take a wet wipe and wipe it off. So that's pretty cool. There are no stains that were on it that I wasn't able to get off of it with just a nice easy wipe. So let's measure this baby. We've got how many inches here? One, two, almost just about seven inches across. And then we have about a little over four and three quarters high. And then the the straps are pretty tiny. They are eight inches total. And then the drop is actually, I think it says it's. So according to this, the height is 4.9 inches. The length is 7.3 inches. The depth is 2.8 inches. So we're just going to take their word for it. <laughs> I mean, so b I think they're actually measuring the inside of the bag, which is kind of interesting. Um, here I'm measuring the outside. It's easier to get the measurements uh, from the interior, which is kind of nice. So this color is called Mint Leaf. So it comes in a ton of different colors, including some fall colors that just came out. So it's there's an olive green, a blue azure, a watermelon pink, which is kind of like a pinky coral color. And then we have Bright Amethyst, which is kind of a lilac, so between purple and pink. And then Juneberry, I think is the most recent color, or okay, it's coming out soon. And that is kind of the fall color. Also comes in Light Sands, which is the color that I have my small Ella tote in, and then a black and a warm white color, which is like a, a kind of creamy white color, very pretty. So let's see what fits in this little mini Ella. So in here, I have so many things. I have a pair of sunglasses. So I couldn't fit the case. So if you do want to use a case, you would have to use a, just like something that just goes right around it, like a little sack for your sunglasses rather than a really thick case. Um, in here, um, in the card slot, I put a three cards. I think I probably could fit four, but that's pretty much the max that I could fit in there. It's kind of a little tight fit. Um, and in lieu of using like a little wallet, I put some hand sanitizer. Um, this is like a faux, um, what is that called? The hand sanitizer, the touch land. This is a faux touch land that I got from Amazon. It's very cool, you can refill it. Um, I have my little Fendi Beauty Universal Invisible Powder that I take with me to just like dab up sweat. Um, and then I have my like little pixie lip gloss here. This color is Sheer Rose, really pretty. I'm wearing it right now. And then my cell phone. And that's it. I also wanted to do a quick comparison of this is the small Bio Ella, and then this is the mini. So you can see the differences here. Like the small is pretty decent sized tote, and then the mini is definitely kind of that mini tote that's been super popular lately, which 
basically holds all of just your essentials. So it's very tiny and also I can't get it all the way up the crick of my arm, but so it's kind of like a hand, handheld or crossbody bag. And then the most I can do is kind of crick it on my wrist here. It's a very tiny little tote. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out my other reviews, you can also check out the other Tory Burch videos. I've got a ton of Tory Burch bags and I have reviews on each one. Check them out here.